Something that you hear quite often in the stock market is a company's EPS. This essentially represents the profit per share of a particular company. In order to analyze companies effectively, one of the key metrics that comes to mind when it comes to the EPS is the EPS growth rate. With this number, you can perform things like valuations and in-depth analysis. In this video, I'm going to share with you how it is that you can calculate the EPS EPS growth rate of any particular company with practical examples as well as how it is that you can get this metric automatically on your Google Sheet or Excel spreadsheet without any additional work. Okay, so in order to be able to calculate the EPS growth rate, there are two formulas that you need to know. First, we have the percentage change formula. In this formula, it's absolutely necessary that you memorize it and that you do know how to use it, especially for financial calculations this formula as you can see it's very simple you take the old number minus the new number divided by the old number or you could also reverse it and take the new number minus the old number divided by the old number and then you can multiply by a hundred to get that number as a percentage what you do need to know about this formula is that basically this tells you how much in terms of a percentage a particular number like in this case the EPS has grown grown or decline over a period of time. On the other hand, we have the compounded annual growth rate formula. And basically the way that this formula works is that you take the ending value divided by a beginning value, take that to the power of one divided by the number of periods, which is usually years, but it could also be months or any other time measurement. And then you take that subtracted by minus one and that gives you the compounded annual growth rate this basically tells you from a compounded percentage what is the average rate at which a particular quantity like for example in this case the EPS is growing or decreasing over time so now I just threw quite a bit at you but don't worry we're gonna walk you through some very practical examples of calculating the EPS growth rate so that way you could see this step by step the first thing that you need to calculate the EPS growth rate is to get the average actual EPS. This is something that you can find online or on the company's financial statements, but something that I recommend is that you use white sheets. So white sheets is an add-on for Google Sheets and Excel. We have many videos on our channel where we talked about white sheets and you can just simply type a company ticker like right here, uh, select whether you want annual or quarterly data. In this case, we're going to keep things simple and we're going to stick with annual data. And then what we're going to do is once you do that, you're going to get the income statement, the balance sheet, cash flow, key metrics, financial growth. In this case, we're really going to focus on the income statement, which is where you can see right here, we have the EPS number available on a historical basis. In this case, going from 2022 all the way back to 2004. So this is great. Now we're going to first start by calculating the EPS growth rate from 2022, in this case, to the previous year, 2021, using the simple percentage change formula. In order to be able to calculate that, we're just going to say EPS growth rate. And then I'm going to do the formula right here. So that way you can see it. So what are we going to do? We're going to take the EPS, the newest minus the previous. The key thing here is to put this in brackets. And this is going to basically give us the difference between these two numbers. And then we're going to divide it by the previous value. So in this case, this is a 5.67. And this is going to give us the EPS growth rate. In order to get this as a percentage, what we could do is just simply use the percentage format from Excel or Google Sheets. Click here, add more decimals, and then we have the EPS growth rate as a percentage. Okay, great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the EPS growth rate using the compounded annual growth rate formula. So in this case, we'll have the KGAR. And in this case, we're going to do it for the past three years. So basically, we're going to start from 2022 and we're going to go three years. So one, two, three, we'll go to 2019. Perfect. So now that we have that information, we know that we're going to start basically from here, go here. The formula again is very simple. So you're going to take the final value divided by the beginning value, which is going to be right here. And then make sure to put this in a bracket as well. So that way this calculation gets performed before
for the others and now we're going to take that to the power of one divided by the number of periods or t as you saw before in this case it's going to be three and then all we need to do is subtract the minus one to get this as a percentage so we're going to do that and this tells us the kgar the compounded annual growth rate of the eps over the past three years now in simple terms what the kgar tells you is that if we were to take the starting value and then multiply it by this consistent rate and do that over this different years so in this case you can see the formula so we take this value times one so this is the number itself plus the actual growth rate this gives us this value and now we're gonna do it for this previous value that we had before and you just keep doing that and as you can see this exactly gets us to the same EPS that we see in 2022 so this tells us the rate that this number grew from here to here and the KGOR it's very very useful when you look at different time periods so for example three years in this case if we were only looking at one year then of course the regular percentage change formula would be perfect you could also apply this formula technically to other time periods however it really depends on the use case generally like I said before if you're looking at many years the KGAR is pretty powerful if you're looking at one year the regular percentage formula is great the last thing that I want to share with you which is quite powerful is that rather than having to manually calculate the EPS growth or pretty much any other financial metric that you want you can get them all automatically by taking advantage of the capabilities provided by Y sheets so in this case we have a list of semiconductor companies that you can see right here but you can do pretty much any company that you want across 50 plus global exchanges and there's two ways to get the data so I'll show you the first one which is okay but there's some Something even better so we have this wise function where you enter the symbol then you enter the parameter so in this case EPS growth and then for the period we could enter specific years so we could do like 2022 just to keep it simple and as you can see right away you're going to get the EPS growth using the percentage change formula automatically calculated for you and the cool thing about this is that this is dynamic so if I change the parameter or the company this will automatically update so let's say I want to change it to Apple here we go now we have the number for Apple right here we're gonna go back to TSM I believe that was a company you could also obviously change the parameter to something else but something even better that we just developed and I'm really excited to share with you is the fact that instead of doing this what you could do is select this range of tickers right here use this white screener which you can see right now it's in beta click here and now it's going to select the range of tickers and then you enter a parameter so in this case the parameters here when I click on it so it's on b1 click on get data and automatically you're going to get all the data right here so now we can just turn this into a percentage and and right away you can see how you get all the data and then one click boom you can update it and the best part about this as well is that you could also add uh, other parameters that you want so in this case we have revenue we also could add the ROE just as examples copy paste the formatting and now all we need to do is instead of just getting the PS growth we're also going to get those as well we can get rid of this bucket click on get data and boom now we have all the information here as well so now we can just format it and at any time we can refresh the live data now you know how it is that you can calculate the eps growth rate right from your excel and google sheet spreadsheet and also how it is that you can get this metric automatically calculated for you if you've enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's gonna allow you to take your investing game to the next level i'll see you in the next one